I team investigation. It is a part of living or even visiting Boston at some point or another. Most of us will get that bright orange parking ticket. But the I team, reporter Joe Shortsleep, discovered there's a few secrets about how those violations are written that just may help you avoid the dreaded orange envelope. How much is it? 40. It's like they ninjas out here, like they hiding. How much do you think you've paid the city of Boston? Thousands of dollars. The I team went digging. We found that the city of Boston wrote more than one million parking tickets last year. We analyzed reams of data, and we found you're most likely to get a ticket on a Tuesday in October on Commonwealth Avenue. Our analysis showed the other streets where you're most likely to be ticketed Boylston, Beacon, Tremont, Washington, and Newbury. Nearly 200,000 tickets were written on those streets alone. But even in those danger zones, the odds may be in your favor on Mondays. Ticket writers issued an average of about 3,000 tickets on Mondays last year, far less than the nearly 5,000 on Tuesdays. And it looks like lots of snow means fewer tickets. In February of last year, only 88,000 cars got tickets in Boston. Compare that to October, the busiest month, with the city finding more than 123,000 cars. How much? Oh, it's 25 bucks. Not surprising that expired meters and parking in resident spots are the most common reason for tickets. Other big reasons are all about reading the signs carefully. This poor person didn't realize this was a loading zone. What does it say? Um, street cleaning? Don't forget to brush up on your parallel parking skills either. The city wrote 2,246 violations to people who were more than one foot from the curb. It's only because of that truck that I had to park like this. Otherwise, I'm normally a pretty good parker. And some tickets don't have anything to do with parking. 87,000 drivers got tagged for expired inspection stickers last year. Um, I think I got a mistake, I hope. We also ran into several people, including David Ross of Acton, who are convinced they didn't deserve a ticket at all. Over meter limit. No. Nope, that's not true. I guess I'll be going to City Hall. Okay, so this is not fair. So I'm fighting this. And that may be worth a try. The city threw out more than 71,000 tickets last year, worth more than $3 million. For the I-Team, Joe Shortsleep, WBC News. And if you have a tip for the I-Team, you can send them an email at iteam at cbsboston.com or just give them a call. Phone number, 617-787-7030.